July 2017. I'm in a country where very few tourists venture. It is 44 degrees Celsius or 111 Fahrenheit. Welcome to Iraq. Well, Iraqi Kurdistan. This video is not a political message, but I have to give you some background. Iraq is a majority Arab country, but a few provinces in the north of Iraq are majority Kurdish, and they make up the autonomous region of Iraqi Kurdistan. Iraqi Kurdistan has its own government, own military, the Peshmerga, and a visa policy that may differ from the rest of Iraq. As such, Iraqi Kurdistan has had a high level of safety, even for tourists. And at the time of my trip, I was able to enter Iraqi Kurdistan without a visa. Good morning! I slept for 13 hours and now I'm going to go look at Erbil city. Erbil is the biggest city and capital of Iraqi Kurdistan. We will start our tour at the beautiful Shar Gardens. This is in the center of the city, with fountains and a good view of the old fortress, the citadel. People come to this park and spend time with family and friends. There's a nice vibe here, so I came back several times during my stay and many started talking to me. The Kurds are generally known for their level of hospitality. And here you see a younger version of me buying some juice. It was delicious. <laughs> I stayed at an upscale hotel near the center. It cost 65 US dollars and this included breakfast and transport to and from the airport. I had nice views of the citadel from my room. And this is where we will go next. The citadel is an ancient city that is more than 7,000 years old. Can you imagine? And it has been continuously inhabited for this whole time and therefore has won the title of being a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Entrance to the citadel is free. From here you get a nice view of the Shar Park and the Souk, which we will visit later. These are the gates to the old city, though they were constructed more recently. I met some Iraqi tourists here who are visiting from Baghdad. Hello. Hello. We are from Iraq, Baghdad, Baghdad. Kad Kadmiya. Are you from Baghdad? Baghdad. Baghdad. Tourist. Baghdad. Tourist in Erbil. Yes, yes. A tourist or resident here? Resi me? Tourist. tourist. I'm tourist, yeah. Welcome. Uh, four days. Welcome. Four days. Welcome. Four days. Welcome. 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 Welcome which cost 1500 Iraqi dinar, or about 1 USD. I also enjoyed browsing the gift shops here in the citadel. I barely saw any foreign tourists here, so I was excited when I met Amit, a, another tourist who was visiting from Australia. Now let's go to the old souk or bazaar of Erbil. This is just next to the central square, and it is huge. Here you can find anything from clothing, accessories, perfumes, food, hookahs, to home decoration and gold. The big flag that you see here is the flag of Iraqi Kurdistan. Throughout my stay in Iraqi Kurdistan, the one thing that stood out to me was the level of hospitality. I never went far without being greeted and getting into a conversation. And don't be surprised if people invite you to their home to meet their family for tea or dinner. Another thing that stood out to me is the level of honesty. There are money changers on the street 
who leave big piles of cash on their table when they go out for a break. This would be unimaginable in other places in the world. The money would be gone before you can even turn around. I felt safe during my entire time in Kurdish Iraq. But note that this is not a travel safety advice. It just reflects on the experience I had in 2017. I know this video will be a bit controversial. If I say Iraq, I will get angry comments saying this is Kurdistan. And if I say Kurdistan, I will get angry comments saying this is Iraq. So let's not focus on the differences that divide us but rather let's focus on the common underlying humanity we have. I published two videos related to this trip more than a year ago, although back then I was quite shy. I didn't do any voiceover yet. Which city are you from? In, in here. Erbil? No. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. How old are you? Uh, 13, 13 years old. There will be one more video about my time in Iraq, Kurdistan, and this will be of my excursion with Amit to Dohuk. How amazing that I could visit a place in Iraq or Iraqi Kurdistan where I felt 100% safe and was welcomed with open arms, both by Arabs and Kurds. Shukran and Sipaz.